Hey everybody, this is the post Thanksgiving Day video blog update from Honduras. So it's been a while since I've done my last one, so I thought I would do one for this time. So anyways, things are going great here. Uh, the weather is finally somewhat improving here. And it's still cool. It's still only in about the low to mid 60s during the day. And uh, uh, so it's slightly improving, but still it's pretty cloudy and a little bit rainy, but there still has been more sun uh, to come out within the past week or so, so that's much better than it's been for most of November. Um, much of November was cold, cloudy, and rainy, and so at least the sun is starting to come out a little bit more, And uh, but there's still a good bit of coughing going around and just sickness, and so just keep, uh, please continue to keep the uh, the students and the teachers at Destino in your thoughts and prayers as they are trying to deal with the, uh, the change in the weather. And so hopefully by the uh, by maybe February or March the weather will be you know, getting warmer again. So now thankfully the winter here won't be too long. Uh, but uh, last week, uh, last Friday at school was report card day, and so the uh, everyone, all the students, they went home at around 12 o'clock noon. And then the parents, you know, the, the mostly mothers and some fathers came uh, to the school to pick up the report cards and talk with the Honduran teachers and uh, the English teachers were there on hand just to, in case the, the uh, parents had any questions. And so um, most of my kids did really well in my eighth grade, uh, my eleventh eighth graders uh, did really well on this report card, and I know they'll do just the same on the next one. Uh, they'll be in January, and so. Um, so things are going really well. The students are, are doing well. Uh, besides, you know, being sick and dealing with the cold weather, the kids are, are having a lot of fun and um, they seem to be learning. And so uh, it's just been a, a blessing to be here and to, to see them lo uh, grow and learn. And, and so it's, it's just been a, a good, good semester so far. But um, keep continuing to pray for the van that's supposed to be uh, coming from the United States. It's it, it came with the on the container from the United States, and it's still at the port in Honduras. And so, it, it could possibly be delivered today. I'm not exactly sure, uh, but I'll be sure to uh, hopefully find something out by next week and, and keep you posted about that. But just to keep praying that you know that the van will get here soon, and that we can that the ministry can use that to, to transport the kids to and from the the children's home, and and that it would just be a, a great. Uh, way of transporting stuff and students and so just pray that that does get get here soon uh, we are so thankful and blessed that the container did arrive uh, but we're still uh, just faithfully praying that the the van gets released as well so uh, but yesterday was an amazing day uh, here in Honduras they don't celebrate Thanksgiving there's a shocker because they are not it's only an American holiday, so they don't celebrate it here. But they, uh, at school, we did celebrate on Wednesday the uh, Day of Grace or Dia de Gracias. And so, uh, and yesterday at the children's home, uh, Sheena and I went to spend the day with Rhonda and the kids at the children's home. And uh, so we just spent the day playing with them. And then, uh, while the, the meal was being prepared, we had uh, lots of good food and. Uh, it was very, very good. Rhonda and the other ladies did a great job with the food, and so, uh, so we just spent the day playing with them, spending time with the kids, and which I always enjoy getting to spend time with them. Uh, and so we just spent some time with them and, and, and ate, and then came back last night. And so I have included. If you go to the top of my blog, you'll see the photos tab. If you click on the photos tab, you'll see uh, a few pictures from yesterday. So I would encourage you just to go check that out. Just click on the photos, and then you'll see. Uh, some of the, the pictures from yesterday and so uh, I've heard though that uh, Carmen was telling me that she had problems with seeing some of the pictures so there may be some technical difficulties there if if you do have trouble uh, seeing the pictures please just leave me a comment on this blog or email me or some you know just some way let me know uh, if you're having trouble seeing those pictures uh, uh, on from the photos uh, page and uh, I'll see if I can maybe fix it and try and work on it. So be sure to please let me know if you can't see the pictures. Um, 
And then also, if you'll look just below this video on this post, I'll have included two uh, YouTube links. And so if you'll click on to those, you'll see some uh, just short 30-second uh, video clips from yesterday. Uh, just some videos I took of the kids eating and playing. And um, So be sure to check those out as well. You'll, you'll just see them right there below this video. Um, I just want to take the, the time just to, to say thanks to so many people. Um, firstly, I want to thank God for his salvation and for just his overwhelming grace and mercy to, to save my soul and to, to send his son Jesus to die for my sins and to redeem my soul and to give me a hope and a future that is um, just free and full of joy and peace and hope that only comes from him this world may try to give you joy and hope and peace but it's only short lasting and so uh, with him this joy and peace that I have is uh, is everlasting and without him and him calling me out to be a, a a child of his and to be a part of his family and then to call me into the ministry and, uh, you know I would not be here and so I, I, I just can't say how much uh, I, I thank God for, for calling me and how much I want to do whatever I can to uh, to bring him honor and glory and, and so uh, first I just want to thank him and uh, want to thank my family uh, my parents and my sister back home for uh, never giving up on me once uh, ever since I was born, never have given up on me, not even once. And so they've always supported me and loved me um, in ways that, that it, it almost doesn't make sense how much they could love me and support me the way they do. And um, so I'm just thankful for their continued support and prayers. And uh, now I've got the most amazing fiance in the world. Uh, that God has truly uh, blessed me with her, and she truly is a, a gift from God. And uh, just like with my family, I, it's amazing to see how much uh, love and support I get from her. And and so I'm thankful for Carmen and just what the, the amazing gift that she's been to me. And I'm looking forward to, to how God's going to use us for His kingdom in the years to come. And, you know, we we've only known each other a year, and to think how much we've grown closer to him and to each other just over the past year. It's exciting to see how he's going to uh, mold us and shape us and, and grow us over the, the years to come. I uh, want to thank uh, both of my supporting churches, First Baptist Church of Norco, Louisiana, and First Baptist Church of Lyons, Georgia. I can't thank you guys enough for your uh, commitment to, to my calling here and to, to see what I see in, in the ministry here in Honduras and want to be a part of that. And so I just can't thank you guys enough. Uh, uh, Brother Danny Williams, First Baptist Lions, and uh, Ken, too, at uh, First Baptist Norco, Louisiana. I want to thank you guys and the whole staff at both of those churches and, and all the members at those churches uh, that have, have again, that they've seen uh, the, the vision I have and the, the, the calling I have here in Honduras and they want to be a part of that you know, whether it be making a monetary donation or praying for me or uh, sending me an email or just letting me know hey we're praying for you and uh, just encouraging me that way and um, just doing whatever they can to, to support me and support this ministry here it means a lot to me so I just want to uh, say how much I appreciate you guys and uh, looking forward to uh, to continuing to, to take you on this journey and over the next several months and so I uh, can't can't thank you guys enough but as I said and those the, the members of those churches and anyone else that has supported me and if you're looking at this video blog update right now you know it shows me that you have an interest in the ministry here and uh, so I just want to thank you for just your continued uh, support and um, and encouragement it means a lot to me to to hear from people back in the states and it's uh, just encouraging to know that there are people who, who care about what god's doing here and, and so i just want to say thank you and um it means a lot to me to have your your support so and that's something i could probably just say as i've said it within the past minute i've said it 20 times but i again you you really just have no idea what it means to have 
have your support and your prayers and your love and, and, and I can't just thank you enough for that so um, so with that I will just say see you later and I'm looking forward to, uh, to sharing more in the coming weeks and so I'm looking forward to uh, to share more about what God's doing here and what he's doing in my life and, um, and I'm looking forward to getting back home in four weeks I'll be for four weeks from tomorrow I'll be home for Christmas break for a couple of weeks so I'm looking forward to getting to uh, to see some people back home in Georgia and getting to, to speak with them and, and see them and so um, I'm looking forward to, to being home and, and seeing all of you guys at home in, in four weeks so but anyways, if you want to feel free to leave me a comment, just let me know you're thinking of me, or just say hello. I want to, and that's something I would like like to know as we celebrated uh, Thanksgiving Day uh, yesterday. I'd, I'd love to just know what what are you thankful for, uh, and so I think that's something that, that I think we we need to do every day, and I think that's something we talk about every Thanksgiving. Is you know, it's not just that day, but we need to live every day with praise and, and thanksgiving to God and for wh what he's done in our life and how he's blessed us and so um, I, would, I would love to know what are you thankful for uh, this year and, and so anyways well, again thank you for your support and uh, keep posted because God's still moving here in Honduras and he's still working and you're going to hear more about it in the weeks ahead alright love you guys bye